Say yo, I'm with my um what's his name again? Oh yeah. Minty Moose. I forgot his name. But um anyways, another book review and stuff. And this book is interesting, but it might be scary for some of you, but when I was reading it, that was um but it wasn't really that scary when I started reading it though. So yeah, it is the ghost of Cutchfield Hall. Yeah, I see his blood on that. My brother keeps doing that just because oh, there's blood on it and everything. He's into that stuff. I don't even know how he doesn't even have nightmares. Please don't ask me. But anyways, it's by Mary Downingham. She makes horror movie. I mean horror stories and ghost stories. This is a ghost story apparently. Well, you can't really tell, but. Um, on the back it says, when 12 year old Florence boards the house, horse drawn coach in London, she looks forward to her new life at Crutchfield Hall, her great uncle's manor house in the English countryside. I think it will be better, Florence thinks, than the grim London orphanage she has just left. Florence doesn't reckon with the eerie presence that haunts the cavernous rooms and dimly lit hallways of Crutchfield. It's the ghost of her cousin Sophia, who died a year before. Sophia's ghost seeks to recreate the scene of her death and cause someone else to die in a place so that she will be restored to life. And she intends to force Soren Florence to help her. Yeah. A lot of people say, oh, it's truly scary and creepy and atmospheric. The bulletin and by the horn book and a deliciously spy fine tingling tale that even the most reluctant readers will enjoy. So it isn't really scary for me, but it might be for some of you guys. So yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of people review this, I guess. But I also, it's soft cover and I also ordered it, I mean, got it from the book, my school's annual book fair. And this is the side. Uh, and published by Sandpiper and yeah so he sh Florence was an uh, orphan but then she got to live with her uncle and aunt her aunt is mean her uncle is nice and she got to live with them in Crutchfield Hall because she was a Crutchfield and she has um, two cousins but Sophia one of her cousins died and now she's a ghost haunting there because her um, sh um Florence has a brother, James, who's sick now and ill, and, and he doesn't want to get out of bed since his sister's death. I, I, when I first reading it, I thought that Sophia was like good, good person, but she actually wasn't, and she was spoiled by her mean, by the main aunt, aunt and stuff. And well, I'm not gonna spoil the ending because I read this before already when I first got it. So I'm just gonna say that it's a really good book and stuff and I recommend it for people who love ghost stories and horror movies and a lot of bunch of paranormal stuff. So thanks for watching guys, comment and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed this mini book review. Well not mini but, well I guess you can call it that because this is like three minutes or something. So yeah, well thanks for watching, comment, subscribe, bye!